A new 60 Minutes report reveals it may be much easier to hack into a personal cell phone than you might think. Nearly two-thirds of Americans own a smartphone. Attacks on phones are growing, and that puts the personal information of millions of Americans at risk. On this Sunday's 60 Minutes, Sharon Alfonsi investigates why phones are so vulnerable. She also looks at the surprising role hackers play in protecting our data. Sharon, good morning. Good morning. Well, as the number of mobile devices explodes, so does the number of attacks on our cell phones. Sometimes you know your phone has been hacked, but often you don't. We sat down with some of the world's best hackers who showed us just how easy it is for them to get access to everything on your phone. Is everything hackable? Yes. Everything? Yes. If somebody tells you you can't do it? I don't believe it. John Herring offered to prove it. <laughs> so he gathered a group of ace hackers at our Las Vegas hotel. Each of them a specialist in cracking mobile devices and figuring out how to protect them. Would you put your money in a bank that didn't test the locks on their safes? You know, we need to try and break it to make sure that the bad guys can't. How easy is it to break the phone right now? Very easy. Yeah, as you've yeah. seen, pretty trivial. So do I need to connect to it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It started when we logged on to the hotel Wi-Fi. At least it looked like the hotel Wi-Fi. Herring had created a ghost version. It's called spoofing. I mean, this looks legitimate. It looks very legitimate. So are you connected? I am. And I have your email. <laughs> you have access to my email right yeah, now? Yeah, it's coming through right now. I actually can, I now have a ride sharing application up here. All the information that's being transmitted, including your account ID, your mobile phone, which I just got the mobile number, then more importantly, I have all the credit cards associated with, with that account. Now, the hack that you just saw only took a matter of minutes, and I was fooled by that fake Wi-Fi, but in other demonstrations that we're going to show you on Sunday, the hackers were able to exploit a hole in the global cellular network and get into our phones, turn on our cameras, listen to us. All they needed for that was a phone number. With just the phone number, they could hack into my phone. It's incredible. So what do you think the greatest weakness is in mobile security? I mean, we're the greatest weakness because like what I just did, where it said, you know, the hotel name and the Wi-Fi, I believed that that was it. I connected and they really <clears throat> easily got control of my phone. But there's this bigger problem of this hole in the global cellular network that it doesn't matter what you do, what decisions you make, whether you turn location services on or off, they can still get into your cell phone. Did they know anything about who hacked the, uh, the FBI got to hack the San Bernardino phone? Do, we, do those guys know? Yeah. You'd have to ask them, and I, I guarantee they wouldn't, they wouldn't answer. <laughs> but, but, Sharon, if you're staying at the Four Seasons Hotel right. and, you, and it says Four Seasons Wi-Fi, why would you doubt that? Why would you doubt that? That's it said so Four Seasons Wi-Fi. And you're at the Four Seasons, you don't so what do know. we do in that situation? You don't know. And it is not, when it says free Wi-Fi, I mean, there's the ones that are so obvious. Free Wi-Fi, connect here. You're like, oh, that's probably not legitimate. But when it says Four Seasons Wi-Fi, you think it's the Four Seasons Wi-Fi. You don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know. You so, know Peter Greenberg, he has told us before, don't turn on your Wi-Fi and check your bank account when you're on a public system like at the airport or something like that because that's extremely vulnerable. Vulnerable. You say even though if you're getting dressed or whatever, they can have access to your camera on your phone? Yeah, so think about this. So with just the phone number, yeah. they were able to access my phone. So can I borrow your phone for a second because sure. I didn't bring sure. mine? Yeah. So my phone looked just like this. It didn't light up. There, no light came on. Yeah. And they were able to watch me and listen to me. So imagine you take your phone into a meeting, you place it on the desk. You take your phone, you know, when you're getting dressed in the morning, they could be watching you and you wouldn't know. Now, the reality is they don't care about most of us. They're not going to try to hack our phones. The bigger issue here is politicians, uh, business leaders that could easily be spied on. Wow. Really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Sharon. Really scary. That's scary yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Turn your phone over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sharon. And Sharon's going to look at how hackers pose a risk to national security. That's all Sunday on 60 Minutes right here on CBS.